Hello people, in this video let us look at the differential diagnosis of schizophrenia that is if you are uh, considering schizophrenia uh, in a patient then what and all you should rule out okay. Could it be actually some uh, organic disorder that means there is something wrong, it is uh, something really that you can point out the cause and you can remove it like some drug that they are taking right they are taking some devodopa, methyl dopa these are for uh, Parkinson's right. Or they could be taking some steroids or some anti-malarial drugs can cause schizophrenia like behavior. Do they have a temporal lobe epilepsy which is uh, causing seizures? Delirium. Is there delirium in these people? Uh, delirium which will lead to visual hallucinations or impaired consciousness. So because in schizophrenia you can have hallucinations etc. Right. So probably it's just delirium. Probably it's just dementia due to age. Okay, probably it's Huntington's disease where there is degeneration of the brain, isn't it? So <clears throat> you should look out, is there a family history of this uh, Huntington? Because Huntington is a dominant disease, right? It is an inherited condition. So you'll have to look at all this and try to rule out. Okay, so it, it might just be a substance abuser, right? So all this you can rule out, isn't it? Then. Uh, there could be other functional psychosis okay there is functional psychosis means, means you cannot organically define something as this is the uh, cause which you can remove no it could just be that the person is having depression maybe he's having a maniac episode so you will see uh, all this then delusional disorder so it just it is just that there are absence of specific features of schizophrenia like hallucinations etc so maybe he's having some delusional disorder are you understanding guys so what are we looking at? Schizophrenia, the differential diagnosis, okay? So it could be some uh, depression, maniac episode, delusional disorder, uh, purpural psychosis that this maybe this lady has given child, uh, birth to a child and later on she's having this uh, purpural psychosis, okay? Schizoaffective disorder, what will be there in this? Both mood and schizophrenia symptoms, both are prominent, okay? What is schizoaffective disorder, guys? So mood means they'll have uh, depression, mania, etc. Okay, okay. So where were we? Uh, this one, right? Main, this one, uh, schizo affective disorder. They'll have schizophrenia symptoms and mood uh, symptoms. That is depression or mania. Everything will be there in these people. Okay, and uh, that's it, right? This pure peril psychosis is different from pure uh, postpartum depression. Okay, it's different from postpartum depression. Okay. So this, these are the differential diagnosis of uh, schizophrenia that you'll have to rule out. Okay, guys. So in this video, you looked at the differentials for schizophrenia. Okay, that's it for now. We'll meet you in the next video. Bye-bye.